What's up everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Parasite Eve. I'm What the Fnu, and I was strolling through the park one day when I came across these guys and said, Hey, hey, talk to me. <laughs> yes, um, there's a payphone you can use one screen up if you want to save your game, and if you use it and come back here, you'll have some new friends waiting for you. Not really sure how much dead people want to be your friends. Not sure if dead people want much of anything really, but <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to be delving further into Central Park, chasing after Eve and making sure she doesn't do horrible, horrible things to Daniel's family, because that wouldn't be good. That would not be good at all. Grab ourselves a cure pee out of the chest here. By the way, here's the payphone I was talking about, if you want to use it, save your game. Uh, cure pee, that's cure poison, just in case you're curious. And poison will be a problem in this place. Not for long, though. Very soon, actually. In fact, Probably, most definitely by the time we get done with this place, we're going to have a new parasite power called Detox, which will, of course, get rid of poison in our system. So, really, it's... This item becomes really useless really quickly, especially because Detox doesn't cost a whole lot of parasite energy to use. Eh, level up, get our slow ability, so we can slow down the enemy's um, increase in their action gauge. <clears throat> Anyways, that came out a little awkward. Make our way north, go further, even further into the park. Yeah, this place is... I'm not gonna lie, the park is kinda confusing, but only if you're going after all of the items you can get. Just follow the path I take, and it'll be the direct way to just about everything in it. Here at the main gate, we can find two treasures right off the bat, some ammo or some medicine to either side of the main gate here. Open this one up, get some bullets. Then open this one up over here to the right. You'll get some more bullets. <laughs> Could always use more of those. <laughs> See how I said that ammo isn't really that bad in this game? I mean, we only needed four shots to get through that battle before, and then we just got 12 right there. And on top of that, we're getting a new firearm right here, the P8. Uh, sometimes that's a different gun entirely. That's something I like about Parasite Eve. You're not qu always sure exactly what treasures you're going to get, at least in certain situations. Like, you don't know whether you're going to get ammo or medicine out of those chests near the front of the gate. And it gives a kind of a randomization element to this game, makes it a little more interesting, especially on multiple playthroughs. Just a neat look. It doesn't completely change everything. The game's not worth playing over again just for that, but it is... Ooh. Speaking of neat little features, check these out. These items are labeled as junk, and it just says it's a broken item. Right now, at this point in the game, do not bother trying to add these things into your inventory. They are worthless to you right now. They just take up precious inventory space that is better used for other things. However, later on in the game, when you've got a much bigger inventory, you want as much junk as possible. Because collecting a bunch of those will get you the best weapons in the game. Yeah. But that's way in the future. We'll talk about that when we get there. And for now, though, we're going to hop in here, grab ourselves the zoo key inside this drawer, and that's going to open up a whole bunch of different things for us. First off, we're going to grab an SP vest in here, and then we're going to move this... We're going to... We're going to move this bed right here, thank you, and grab ourselves a rocket launcher, or grenade launcher, I'm sorry. <laughs> Still, a grenade launcher in a zoo office. What exactly is that doing there? <laughs> Okay, one thing I want to point out about this weapon, though, is something I kind of skipped over, should have shown this off when I had the chance. Okay. Pay attention to that little icon right there that looks like the bullet with the red band around it. That's an elemental symbol. It signifies that this weapon has a heat element to it. Elements are a really underutilized part of this game. You will never be using them, and I'll explain why. They give you a heat element weapon in the same area where you have snakes that are immune to fire. I'm dead serious. They do this crap to you right off the bat. 
Now here's the thing about it. There are so many enemies that have so many immunities to different types of elements, it's just really not even worth it to take advantage of them in the first place. Because you have to spend a whole turn in battle swapping away your weapon just to deal with them. It's not worth the time you spend, it's not worth the brain power I find. For the measly little extra damage that you get. It's kind of a shame too, that could have made things a little more complex. But at least it's one less thing that I have to deal with once I get towards the end of the game. Uh, remember when I'm making my ultimate weapon, quote unquote. No, no. Uh, that thing hit me. I tried to get out of the way. This is why I prefer the machine guns. They fire a lot faster. If you'll notice, whenever you wind up to try and hit something with a rifle, it takes a little while. Aya has to aim the thing, and it takes about a second to do that. And in between shots, you have like half a second. So I find she's actually standing still a lot longer than if I had just used a faster weapon like a machine gun. I don't know, that's personally why I prefer them. Am I going to get a stat item in here? Please tell me yes. Yes! Defense plus one. Alright, I need that. Definitely need that. This place is extremely agitating if you don't know where to keep away from. There are certain enemies in certain places that are going to really drive you up the wall, quote-unquote. Um, remember those plant enemies I mentioned a couple episodes back? Yeah, we'll be meeting them in this area, and they are just... Ridiculous! They're like the toads in that they have these vines attached to them that can hit you from across the damn screen. But the other thing about them is that, that, they, is that they create these poison clouds that just kind of linger on screen for an eternity. So that instantly takes away from the space that you have to move in, which is usually pretty limited in the first place. Oh! Dodge that. Yeah, those things can throw their arm at you. Be aware of that. Oh, come on. Leave me alone. Let's see if I can... Nope. Shoot. That's one thing I don't like about this game's combat. And I will admit it is kind of a problem. The fixed camera angles doesn't really give you a good idea of where you are and are not allowed to go. Especially because there's invisible walls everywhere, but only in encounters. You'll find there are some times when you can't go into certain places. It's rare. Admittedly, it is very rare, but there are certain moments where you'll find there are places you can't will you There are places you can't go in battle that you can go when you're just walking around. I'm curious about this. Yes, I couldn't go onto the snowbank here in that fight, but now I'm walking over it normally. Just it's something you get used to, admittedly. It is a downfall, and they should have fixed it, but it's not enough to keep me from playing the game. Alright, now this fork in the road is important. We'll be going left to advance further in the stage, but there's more treasure off to the right. So we may as well grab that while we can. Make sure we dodge this bird right here, because he's going to try to peck our eyes in. Uh, I think that snake's going to attack me. No, no, he's keeping to himself right now. Why do I even got to shoot this thing? It's like he's kind of minding his own business, not even bothering me over there. Good on you, man. I appreciate your presence. And there... <coughs> hmm, pardon me. Someone went down the wrong tube there. Uh, yes, as you just noticed, we just got the detox ability. Now, of course, if you mouse over it here, or cursor over it in the case of this... Sorry, too much steam lately. You'll notice it takes up a whole bunch of parasite energy to use. That's not going to be a problem for very long. In fact, by the time we're done with this area, that's going to be less than half. I'm dead serious. This becomes a very useful ability very quickly. So I'm not going to get rid of my um, Cure P just yet. Oh, well, I am going to get rid of this one. You only need one, to be totally honest with you. Uh, yes, there is something back here. Uh, just in case I run into any of those plants by accident. I know where they spawn, so I'm going to intentionally try to avoid them. Grab our ammo right there, and I think that's just about it for this area. So let's double back on where we came from. And make our way even further into... Wait a minute. Wait a cotton pick and flick and chicken mick and mick and nick and mick and minute. <laughs> I think there's more treasure in this area. 
Yeah, don't mind what just happened right there. That was just a cut. Yeah, I realized a ways back that this is an RPG. Ooh, got some Medicine 2. That's even better than a Medicine 1. Double the healing. Anyways, yes, this is an RPG, so eventually we're going to be running into the same battles over and over against the same exact enemies, and it's just going to be boring to watch. I, I feel like I'm going to cut that out just because I... I want to keep this time down as much as I can. I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to I don't want to make you have to suffer through more than you have to. <laughs> you don't need more of my shit than you need every day. But and yeah, it just makes everything a little easier to watch. You don't have to suffer through every single detail of the game with me. I keep using that word suffer. I don't know why I just jumped to that. Is it really that bad? Really? Probably. <laughs> well, at least there's almost 300 people out there who think I'm worth watching. And I appreciate those people. I really do. Anyways, just got ourselves another 100 bonus points. What do you think we should pump it into? Uh, I'm, I'm feeling attack, actually. Just one more point. Deal some more damage. Yeah, we're going to need all the firepower we can get. Because near the end of this area, you not ju you don't only just fight one boss, you fight two of them in a row. <laughs> All of the animals have escaped. Really? What tipped you off, genius? <laughs> like, I love Aya as a character. She's typically very intelligent and a very good le female lead, but you gotta admit, that was pretty friggin' dumb. Finally made our way to the stage in the center of the area. Now, you want to go left here first and foremost. Uh, because, of course, there's a cutscene waiting for you here. Walk through the door. Or eventually walk through the door if you can eventually navigate your way through the 3D space. And guess who it is? The holiday season brings joy to us all. And this Christmas will be the most special of all. Does it really count as a rhyme if you match it with the same exact word? Special, because I will no longer be under the control of a host, as I have sensed the dawn of time. Humans are weak mitochondria, can self-evolve. Wait. Oh, I'm just putting the wrong emphasis on that. Humans are weak. Mitochondria can self-evolve. Yeah, that's what periods are for. Thank you very much. Mitochondria must now take over the nucleus. You better not start friggin' singing again. Yeah, did I mention I got this game when I was nine years old? I, I don't think it affected my mindset in any way, shape, or form. No. No, it, it didn't scar me for life or anything. This scene had, didn't give me nightmares at all. No, no, no. I'm perfectly fine. I have to get backstage and stop her. I think it's a little late to stop her, Aya. She already turned the crowd into oatmeal. Or, actually, that kind of looks more like root beer or molasses, don't you think? I know they were going for like a fleshy mass graphic there, but it didn't really work. <laughs> so among Eve's powers to set people on fire, apparently mitochondria self-evolving can also turn people into molasses. It's kind of interesting. Why? Why are you doing this? You again. But you are too late. You will not ruin my plans as you did last night. What? Plan? You set an entire amphitheater of people on fire. You let the only person who knows of your existence and can stop you go free. You draw so much attention to yourself and your activities. What exactly was the end goal here? I would love to know. Oh, little girl, where are you going? 
Now I can actually walk past this corpse here. It wouldn't let you before. Alright, I'd love to follow her off to the left, but first we need to make a quick pit stop over here. Yes, if I remember correctly, there's some treasure. Yep, this is exactly what I'm thinking of. Ah, oh, but first we have to go through a battle. A battle against a random bear. <laughs> yeah, those are in this game. This is pump him full of lead. No, no. Don't you dare. Don't leave leave me alone. Ha! Can't touch this. Ba -na -na -na. Most of the time you can't touch this. I can't wait till we get the haste ability. Do I have that already? Yeah, there's a parasite power called haste, which lets you move around faster. And it increases the active time battle gauge. Or ATB, I'm sorry, active gauge. Whatever the hell it's called in this game. There's also a phone right there if you need it. There's also one in the front of the zookeeper's office if you noticed. I just feel like I should point those out, just in case you don't see them. Excuse me a second. Kicked my mic. Sorry about that. Uh, the cord to the controller was caught under the wheel. One of the wheels in my chair. It was distracting me. I'm obsessive. I need everything to be just to, to just work. Anyways, this place is kind of confusing. What you want to do is immediately turn down, follow the winding path here, and then there will be another path going off to the right. This is the direction you want to go. You don't necessarily want to follow the girl down. Not quite yet. Oh, I guess she went right herself. Alright, now this is the perfect way to grab all of the treasure. And let me just... Yeah, I've got the strategy guide in my lap here right now just to make sure I don't miss anything in this place because it can be kind of confusing. Yes, there's a treasure chest right in the center of the area here. And remember what I said earlier, the Parasite Eve is kind of interesting. You don't, you never know what you're going to get. This thing could be a tool, it could be an ammo, or it could be medicine. Looks like I'm getting medicine this time. More medicine too, that's nice. 90 HP, that's nothing to sneeze at this early in the game. Meanwhile, follow the girl off to the left here. You'll end up on a bridge, and if I remember correctly, you'll get some ammo out of this chest. Ah uh, yes, the SV vest! Now this thing is a little weaker than what you've got right now, but it gives you an extra inventory slot. Just something to keep in mind. Of course, if you have a tool, you can just move that over to, the, uh, to your other armors as well, but the other half of it is, this thing actually has pretty decent bonus points for this early in the game, so too bad I can't show them to you anymore. Not conveniently anyway, we just need to kind of move along with this. So it's just your choice what to do with that, not to mention you have very limited tools at this point. Might not be so limited if I didn't just... If I got one out of that chest there. Whoa! The bear can shoot lightning! I forgot about that. <laughs> A lightning-throwing bear. I'm so glad I'm at the age where I can appreciate how awesome that actually is. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Anyways... Make your ways across the river here. The girl will generally lead you in the way you need to go. Uh, for the most part, anyway. She kind of goes off screen at certain points, though. You... Ugh. Another battle? An oh, this one. Right. With the small paths and the enemies that are all over the place here. You kind of want to give yourself room when, you, when you're in narrow corridors like this. Just so you have somewhere to go. If you can't go off to the side, you just need to make do with what you've got. Plan ahead with your movements a little bit. Once again, that's something you're just going to have to get used to in this game. Go down here, please. Yes, that is a defense plus one, just like I thought it would be. Throw that on our SP vest. Now we're at plus four. We're getting the... We're racking up the bonuses here. Did I get... No, I don't. I, I didn't get enough bonus points because I haven't leveled up yet. Alright, follow the path this way. And if I remember correctly, yes, I do remember correctly. Now, don't follow her all the way to the left just yet, because there is some treasure up here. Now, this chest, this chest, the strategy guide specifically states that you either get a tool or 
in very rare situations, it's a 1% chance, but you could get an item called a super tool. Now, this has happened to me. It only happened once, but I got really lucky with it. Super tools are like normal tools, except that they transfer over all the parameters. Let me warn you right now. I'm telling you this right, right off the bat. Super tools are gold dust. Never, ever use these things. Just, just take my word for this. Stash them with Wayne. When the time comes to use them, you'll know it. You'll know it immediately. But once again, that's a feature we're going to be talking about much, 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 much later in this project. Like, a, a couple, maybe a dozen episodes in the future. Considering how fast we're going through this, I may just be sooner than we think. Ah, oh, nice! We got heal too. Beautiful. Eh, we've got enough medicine. I'm, I'm not gonna need that. Heh. <laughs> Famous last words, right? Let's see here. Uh, no, I don't need to spend that quite yet. Especially considering I'm... Oh, it still takes up about half my bar. Might not be worth it. Actually, what am I thinking? It'll be more than worth it. There's no treasure on this particular bridge, but there's quite a bit of treasure up ahead. There's a neat little nook that you have to search in, and you'll find a huge stash of, like, stat-boosting items, typically for your armor. Definitely want to take advantage of that. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Damn it! Come on! Well, I just got poisoned. As you'll notice from that, I don't want to spend my cure P just yet. I'm going to save that for the plants. These things are going to be agitating. Not agitating. Agitating. You have to put emphasis on every single syllable. Holy crow. Poison is extremely deadly in this game. You'd be surprised. It drains through your health very, very quickly. And it takes four ever to go away by itself. It's probably one of the worst status effects. There are other ones, but they're much easier to deal with. Get ourselves some more bullets. How many are we even up to right now? Oh my god, 182 bullets already. I told you. I told you this wasn't going to be a problem. Oh right, there's another battle right here. Hang on, I'll be right back. Right then. Little cat, like I said, like I promised. And I always deliver on my promises. Right here, you will find a chest with a CR evade and a chest with a tool. Oh, well, typically that's a defense plus one, but I'll take a tool as well. That'll ultimately help me just as much. Instead of just w actually, that might just be better. Because instead of just one point, I can actually pump in all of these points into this using that. That's nice. I like that. Uh, we're down to 61. Uh, I'll spend the medicine one to heal that. Maybe I should have taken a couple more of those items. It's not supremely biting me in the ass right now. I know if you go up the left stairs, you have to fight the enemies, but... Because I know there's some plants right at the top of this bridge, and I'd rather avoid them if I could. No, oh, I don't have a choice either way. I have to fight these things. Welcome to my nightmare, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, come on, you bastards. Ah, jeez. Look at that. That range is ridiculous. Oh no, that third one's gonna attack. Stay out of its range. Stay out of its range. Wait till it takes its turn and then get away from the second one. I can't quite hit it either. Alright, look at that. That's the poison I was talking about. I waited so long 
at this thing got its turn and it got its chance to attack me anyway. And look at that! I have so... I couldn't move around to any of the places I could typically go there. That was one less... Oh, don't reload now! Damn it, I, uh... At least I leveled up out of that. And I got enough points for another, um... Bonus trait, so... Bonus stat... Bonus stat, yeah, let's go with that. Might as well spend that on more... Actually, I'm taking a little bit of damage. Maybe just one more point in defense. Yeah, typically you just want as much offense as possible because then you don't have to worry about getting hit because you just waste enemies as soon as possible. And unfortunately, I know what's coming up here. So, no, oh. <laughs> don't go... Oh, I could have gone forward. That's the trick to avoiding the plants. I remember now. Ugh. Well, guys, I think I'm going to call that an episode here because I know what's coming up next, and it's not going to be pretty if we have to stuff that into another episode. So next time on Let's Play Parasite Eve, hopefully we won't have any more major brain farts and have to fight enemies I hate. Okay? See you guys then. Okay, I got a riddle for you. What's at the beginning of eternity, the middle of the end, and the end of time? Time's up. We're halfway to the end, and I still haven't gotten an answer, guys, so your chance to win fantastic prizes is still up in the air. As always, leave a comment if you think you know what it is, and until next time, I'm What the FNU. See you later, everybody. Thank you.